Welcome, Leo and Crosswatchers. This is your general love reading for August 3rd through the 9th. Leo, it looks like uh, there was a long-term committed relationship where there was no equal give and take in that relationship. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hi, guys. This is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. If you've noticed that some of my videos have been short in the last couple of weeks, it's because I became a grandmother of twin baby boys. Everyone is doing well, happy, and healthy. So let's get into some business. Keep in mind that all my readings are general readings, and they will not resonate with everyone. They can resonate in reverse. There is no gender. It's not gender specific. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Also. I'm doing a weekly giveaway for a three question reading. If you're interested, comment down below, hashtag Quartz Rose Tarot giveaway. And if I comment under your comment, then you've won. So with that, uh, if you're interested in booking a reading with me, all my information is in the description box below. And as always, don't forget to leave me a comment, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when new content comes out. So with that, let's stick around and see where it goes. Leo, you're starting off your read with the Ten of Pentacles. This is something that was long-term, committed, um, had a lot of abundance, a relationship, and um, you're realizing there wasn't as much give and take as you thought there was with the six of, of pentacles. You know, it didn't, he, this person may have been giving his coin to someone else or her coin to somebody else. Um, you have the Hierophant card. This is something that's a contract. Uh, this is uh, something that's traditional, could be a contract. It's, it's, um, I'm getting that this is the high priest. This would be the counterpart to the, the high priestess, but it's almost like um, a higher level of commitment here for you. Or you wanted a higher level of commitment is what I'm getting. But there wasn't as equal give and take as you thought. Um, and there was some options here for confusion, illusion, um, and it had to do with a third party. You have the Three of Cups sitting next to the Three of Pentacles, two threes. Okay, so this was a third-party situation. And you got clear about something with the uh, the Hermit card. The light was shed on something. You you actually went within and saw something that, that something came to light to you is what I'm getting. And this makes you very discontent. You know, not, you're looking up at that, that one cup. You're, you're like, it's almost like it's a heartbreak. It's, it's a really, it's a deep heartbreak. And you're discontent to work on somebody, uh, work on this anymore. You don't want to give any more to this. You're, you're tired of feeding it is what I'm getting. Uh, because there was something that was toxic here. There was, there was some kind of codependency here. You, th this was very toxic. And or somebody was obsessed with something from the past, uh, a past life soulmate or an ex. You're discontent to work on this because somebody was obsessed with somebody from their past. In the center of the read, Cancer, um, the chariot, you're wanting to move forward. Forward movement, quick forward movement could be traveling. Um, but wanting your happiness, you're moving towards your happiness. You're moving towards a new beginning of love and abundance with the Ace of Pentacles, the best ace you can get. Um, you're coming in uh, strong in your reading here, um, Leo, with the Queen of Wands. Uh, you're, you're beautiful. You uh, go for what you want. Um, you don't ask permission. Uh, you like a lot of attention. You're at a crossroads about something, though. You're trying to figure out which direction you want to go towards your happiness. What is going to make you happy? That's This is what your decision is. What's really going to make me happy here? You could be holding on or holding back with the four of coins. I'm getting that you're trying to block, block something from ending. 
So you're trying to block something from ending, the coming full circle. This is a karmic cycle. You're trying to stop this. You're trying to block this, this ending here. You feel codependent to this energy. It's either you or the person you're dealing with. You have the emperor here taking control. This is an older person. He is very wise. Um, he is all four kings rolled into one. Uh, he takes control of a situation. It's his way of the highway kind of thing. And he's going to reconcile something. You know, this is a resurrection. But he's reconciling with the empress. This is a new beginning. This is uh, the divine feminine. All four queens rolled into one. Um, creation. Um, creativity. I'm, and I'm getting a very strong karmic relationship here. And you're trying to block it from ending, ending the cycle, ending the karmic cycle. Now, this could be you, Leo, or this could be somebody you're dealing with. But whoever is the feminine energy in this read is the person that, that is trying to block um, this cycle from ending and closing out with this emperor. But he's going to reconcile, taking control. He's taking control of the situation, and he's reconciling with his true empress here, with his empress. So I'm, I'm getting an energy of two different women here, two different feminine energies. And this person's trying to block this ending. But there wasn't equal give and take in, in, in something. You could have been with this person for a long time. This person could have been in your life for many, many years. Okay. But there was really no equal give and take. I'm getting an obsession with the past here. And that the option was a third party that you're understanding that, wait a minute, he didn't give me his all in this relationship because he, he was never let go of what was in the past. So you can here's here's the thing that you need to understand here, Leo, if this is you, an emperor and the empress, this is a divine feminine and a divine masculine. These two trump out all. It doesn't matter. I mean, so if this person you were in a relationship with an emperor, he was still obsessed with the empress because they're already in union in the 5D. So this person, they're energetically connected here. And every person that's in our lives are there to raise the vibration so these two can come into union. So there is there is a divine calling here. It is a divine calling. But somebody does not want to end this cycle with the world card, does not want to end this cycle. And this is Taurus and Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius, the fixed signs here. Trying to block this this cycle from closing out. You know, if you don't learn your karmic lessons, you will always repeat. But it looks like he's taking control and he is reconciling with his empress here. So let's go to the bottom of the deck, Leo. Wish fulfillment. Um, somebody's wish fulfillment is to balance the truth. You know, to being he's being guided to speak the truth about a two of cups. So somebody who's got a very strong soul connection to four of wands. This is the 1111 card. This is his divine soulmate. This is this is um, this is foundation, celebration, relationship. And so something had to be cut out. A head over heart decision had to be made. Something had to be to, to be cut out. And it was a choice. Um, a choice. This is a soulmate. You were the soulmate of this person. You could have been a karmic soulmate, though. Um, you're getting clear on something. You're looking at something with a different mindset because you, you see the deception. You see what the deception was. And you're heartbroken because somebody wanted to win at all cost. And there's communication about what was hidden. And somebody's walking away. From the burden. Leo, I see that there you could have been a divine soulmate. 
but it could have been a karmic relationship. Uh, but keep in mind, when you close out this cycle, there's something coming towards you as well. So you had karmic lessons that you had to learn as well in this. So, you know, the, 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 the hanged man to me is really going within and seeing the lessons that need to be learned because everybody is in your life for a reason or a season. Okay, so there's a reason they're either going to be a blessing or a lesson. And if they're your lesson, even if it took a long time to figure that out, you still have to come to your own uh, understanding of the situation. Okay, um, but this, it looks like the Empress and, and the Emperor are, are uh, reconciling. And this is closing out a cycle, but this person eventually gets it and they do close the cycle here. But keep in mind, when you close the cycle, when you close one door, another one opens. So you might have some, your, your divine masculine may be coming towards you versus your karmic. Leo, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please let me know. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.